When we're speaking about strongest A9 characters here, we're going to use a slightly different metric than what we used for our overpowered A9 characters list. An overpowered A9 character may be the biggest fish in their small pond, is Spike from Cowboy Bebop. But once they venture out into the ocean of power, they might discover that there are bigger fish than they ever thought possible. That's who we're here to talk about. So here we go. Number 10 Mob Psycho 100. The last place character on this list is a god among men, so that only goes to show what kind of power levels we're dealing with here. Mob is a psychic, the world's greatest. The boy can level cities with his mind. He's perhaps one of the most powerful psychics not only in Anime, but in all of media. I'm sure that Professor X would not want to go toe to toe with this kid. He only gets downgraded because his body itself isn't very strong. He's sort of a glass cannon, can dish it out, but can't take it. Number 9 Kaido, One Piece. Kaido, on the other hand, is made of 100% solid steel and dragon scales. Yes, he's a dragon. They don't call this dude the world's strongest creature for nothing. He possesses the gum gum fruit that allows him to turn into a massive dragon that is nearly impervious to harm. He stood up against blows from the worst generation in a combined attack. That's Luffy Zoro and at least three other super strong people. And Luffy is the Mem Aeon's Tia Harek Tia. Kaido is a monster of epic proportions. Number 8 Kaguya Otsutsuki, Naruto. Another foe that was able to fend off the attacks of the main character is this woman, Kaguya Otsutsuki. This is where the list is gonna start taking a turn into becoming a pantheon of NIME gods. Kaguya Otsutsuki is basically a small G god in the Naruto universe. She is the person who brought Chaka into existence by eating the fruit of the god tree when the world was young. Without her, the ninja world wouldn't exist. She was defeated by her own horniness, however, as Naruto was able to use his sexy jutsu in order to distract her and land a blow. Number 7 Lucifer, Devilman Crybaby. Lucifer from Devilman Crybaby is where the power disparities on this list begin to get astronomical. Lucifer is an angel. You know, those unkillable beings of light and fire that capital P God sends to level cities and tell virgins they're pregnant. Well, Lucifer is one of the strongest angels in heaven, second only to Michael. As such, he is able to wipe the floor with our poor devilman hero Akara. One attack from Lucifer was able to split the moon in half. Yikes. Number 6 Griffith, Berserk. Griffith is another powerful angel on this list, albeit in name only. He is one of the five fingers of the god hand and is practically untouchable. He exists outside of physical reality and therefore cannot be killed by physical means. A battle with Griffith would be fought in the astral world and he's got the home field advantage. I don't know how Guts will beat him, but he definitely won't do it alone. Number 5 Tetsuo, Akira. So now we've crossed over from small G-gods to at least a mid-sized T-gods. Tetsuo isn't the god of our universe per se, but he does become god to another universe of his own creation. At the end of Akira, Tetsuo's psychic ability gets so out of control that he basically collapses into a singularity and then big bangs his way into an alternative universe. I'd like to see anyone else on this list do that. Number 4 Beerus, Dragon Ball Super. Beerus is the god of destruction and the only being that Goku is unable to beat. And Gio Kiyu is Te Nimayun Tiet Harak Tia. What Tiv is? Goku even powered up into Super Saiyan God Mo to take this guy out, and his style couldn't defeat Beerus. In fact, Beerus was able to beat Goku quite easily. Sure, he was impressed, while they were fighting, in the same way that I'd be impressed if a cockroach I crushed under my shoe was still twitching. Number 3 Wiss, Dragon Ball Super. Wiss is Beerus's martial arts teacher and another all powerful angel. This dude is so strong that he was assigned to watch over Beerus and keep the god of destruction out of trouble. He's technically Beerus's assistant and helps prepare Beerus's meals and even puts him to bed. At one point, 
Whis is able to knock out a rampaging Beerus with a single Karat Chop. Number 2 Zeno. Dragon Ball Super Zeno is a capital G god. What's that? You don't think he looks like one? Say that to his face, and he will simply delete you and the rest of your universe. Zeno may have the appearance of a loyal alien baby, but he is the strongest being in the Dragon Ball multiverse. Somehow, Goku manages to befriend him though, which is a good thing, because I would hate to consider what would happen to absolute reality if this guy had enemies. Number 1 Saitama One Punch Man One Punch Man can defeat any opponent in one punch. That is the conceit of the show. Therefore, he is the most powerful character in Alan history. I don't care if Zeno could delete him from existence, because Saitama could probably punch his way into existence again. And that concludes our deep dive into the ocean of power, featuring the strongest anime characters out there. From psychics to dragons to gods, we've covered them all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring the vast world of anime. Remember the power levels 